Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. We have got another Croptober video for you guys. This video is in collaboration with my good friend Tori over at Mount Mama Living. Y'all already know how much I love her. She has become a really, really good friend of mine here on YouTube. And um, she is going to be sharing some delicious crock pot recipes with you guys also. So make sure when you're done with this video, um, check the description box. I will have her channel linked and her video linked in the description box below. So please, please go over, give her some love, comment on her video and tell her that I sent you if you are new to her. I absolutely love her channel. She is a sweet, amazing mama and a very good friend of mine. So I've got several recipes to share with you guys and a couple dinner fails. But that happens, right? We all have dinner fails, nothing to be ashamed about. So I will be sharing some recipes and dinner fails with you guys. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoy this video. For our first recipe, we are going to be making some fillies. I've got a half of a green pepper, a half of a red pepper, and I have a whole onion just cut up there. And then I'm using two packs of this beef shaved steak. This was my first time trying this, and it was pretty good. I think my issue here was I cooked it on high because I put it on late and I didn't have enough time. So next time when I do this, I will just cook it on low. Um, that way it doesn't, that way it cooks slower and it can get tender. But I added those two packs in there, kind of moved it around a little bit to loosen all the pieces up. I seasoned it with some of that 1836 beef rub from Suckle Busters. That link is always in the description box below. And then I added in some Worcestershire just for some extra flavor. I added in a pack of dry Italian. And then I threw those peppers in and then I just let it cook. Like I said, I cooked it on high because I didn't have enough time. But next time I will just cook it on low and it will be perfect. Here is what it looked like. I cooked it for about four hours on high. So like I said, next time I will do it on low, just so it's a little slower. We served it on hoagie rolls with some provolone cheese and we served it with some chips. It was super delicious and we'll definitely be making this again. And here is the chicken and rice. This was the recipe fail that I was telling you all about at the beginning. I was hesitant to make this to begin with because of making rice in the crock pot. I've never had luck and it just still didn't turn out. This was the Pinterest recipe that I used and it just was not good. The rice was super mushy and it just didn't have any flavor and no thank you. And lastly, we are doing some French onion meatballs. Y'all, this was delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend making this. So this is kind of the same thing as our French onion burgers that we do. I will have that recipe video linked down below. We've made those a ton. So it's kind of the same concept, but instead of it being burger patties and serving it on hamburgers, you just make it into meatballs and serve it with like potatoes and veggies. Luke loved this. So I went ahead and I made meatballs ahead of time, baked them in the oven, and then I'm just adding them into my crock pot as you see. You can use frozen meatballs if your family likes frozen meatballs. Luke's not a fan, so I always just make my own. And you can also cook your meatballs in your crock pot. I have done that before, but this day I just didn't have enough time to do that. So I went ahead and just went the fast route and baked them in the oven. But I will have a recipe video linked down below where I did 
where I have cooked the meatballs in the crock pot because they are super juicy and delicious cooking them in the crock pot. So I will have that down below. But what we're doing here is I'm just adding those meatballs into my crock pot. That is three pounds of hamburger meat. Anytime I do meatballs, I always do three pounds and it makes about 25 to 27 meatballs. I think I counted it and I'm pretty sure it was like 25 or 27. So you're just gonna add all of those into the crock pot and then I'm gonna top it with two cans of the French onion soup mix, the Campbell's brand. And then I'm gonna add a few dashes of Worcestershire just to give it some extra flavor. And then I'm gonna add on top a whole sliced onion. I feel like adding that extra onion in there is really what made this go over the top. Of course there is onions already in the French onion soup mix itself but when you add that little extra onion in I know Luke really enjoys it because he gets like fuller pieces of onion. Y'all already know I always pick them out <laughs> but the flavor itself from these were really really good. I just put the lid on it and I let these cook on low for about five to six hours. So for the potato side to go along with this, I really have been wanting to try Sammy's potato recipe. I will have her original video that she shared that. She shared that recently in a what's for dinner video and I have been dying to try it, but I wanted to try it in the crock pot because I feel like it would have been so good. And I say would have been, I'll tell you why in a second. <laughs> The flavor for these were on point. So I will have her video linked down below. She does hers in the oven. So definitely check it out so y'all can do that. I'm definitely gonna do these again. So I added in one bag of the petite red potatoes. I did wash those and pick out any bad ones. And then I'm gonna add in one of those onion soup mix packets. And she used this really cool um, Amish seasoning that she got at an Amish store and y'all know I can't find that so I went in and just used ranch I kind of thought that it was kind of the same flavor profile somewhat and so I added half of a packet of ranch and I used the whole packet of onion I added one stick of butter and y'all it was so good the flavor from the ranch and the onion soup mix was really really good it really gave these potatoes some really good flavor i really enjoyed them so here's where i messed up <laughs> i put these on low and time got away from me and they ended up cooking for five hours since these potatoes were so small, they did not need that much time to cook. So they were definitely overcooked. And y'all, it was like chewing gumballs. <laughs> like I said, the flavor, the flavor was really good. But where they were overcooked, I accidentally overcooked them. So for these, if you use little bitty potatoes like this, I would only recommend like two hours, two and a half at the max, but the flavor profile is amazing. So definitely give these a try. I will be doing these again, but keeping a closer eye on them. And here are the meatballs all done. They have been in about six hours at this point. The the smell in this house was so good between the potatoes cooking and these cooking the house just smelled so good so I made a little bit of a cornstarch slurry just to thicken up that gravy and it was so good y'all <laughs> I just kept it on warm till it was time to serve I served it with some green beans and some crescent rolls and other than me overcooking the potatoes this meal was a 10 out of 10 and that is it y'all that wraps up this third Crocktober video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Even though we had some recipe fails, nonetheless, we had some delicious meals. Don't forget that this video is in collaboration with Tori over at Mountain Mama Living. Make sure you go and give her some love, and I will see y'all next week for another Crocktober video. Bye, guys.